might think that bringing frail and fading oldies into the same care facility as toddlers would be a recipe for disaster. Well, in the place we're about to visit, the combination doesn't result in mayhem, rather magic. The phenomenal results this American nursing home is achieving with its Alzheimer's and dementia patients has drawn world attention and maybe a global rethink on the way degenerative conditions are dealt with and how old age and daycare facilities are run. It seems children evoke something deep inside aged care residents. They were suddenly awakened. This is an utterly beautiful story from Denham Hitchcock. Dress is typical. Which one do you want to wear today? I'm going to comb your hair. Yeah, okay. It looks beautiful. Put your feet up. Yes, that's good. Make it snap. There. Beautiful, Dorothy. What's your favorite doll? This is a special place. You're her helper today. Where those with a rich history interact with those who have none. Holy name. Viv Shazam. There are moments of tenderness. Maybe time, girl. Moments of patience. Viv knocked over three. Where are you here? Where are you here? Three. How's it going down there? Three. Thirty. But somehow, amongst all the confusion, it works. What's your name? Max. What? Max. 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 Oh, Matt. Max. Max. Matt. Max. Oh, Max. No, Max. 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 It seems like an impractical experiment two age groups that couldn't be further apart. One, in aged care, needing 24-hour supervision. The other, toddlers and babies in daycare, requiring just as much attention, but for different reasons. What happens when you merge the two together? They looked around at how to create more of a home-like environment here, and they'd done a lot of physical changes, but then they looked around and said, what's missing is, is children. In a home, in a family, we have children and all the ages interacting together, and, and we needed children to bring a little more life and joy to the community. You needed some of the chaos that kids yeah. bring. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. Chaos and joy. Chaos and joy. Do you want to join us? Want to join us? Huh? Won't you join us? What did you, uh, what? Real loud. Use your recess voice. Do you want to, um, do I project? Well, I, my painting arm is sore today. Go ahead. Oh, it is. Oh, no, yeah. Up, 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 up. There you go. Stand up straight, man. Stand up straight. Bob, I get the feeling that you remember very well the first day you laid eyes on Dorothy. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh huh. Well, I'll tell you, she was a knockout. <laughs> I was 17 and she was 16. High school sweethearts. Absolutely. Only one. The only one. Right? I hope it's the only one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. And it lasted. Bob and Dorothy had earned their retirement. Bob had been a doctor, and even as she reached 80 years of age, Dorothy was in perfect health. That was until July 2013. When did Dorothy start showing the first signs of Alzheimer's? Uh, inability to, uh, to maybe finish uh, the more complex procedures. Um, and... Uh, paperwork and... Paperwork, numbers. yes, yeah. The greatest uh, problem that affected us was our handicapped son, David whom she literally was the mentor for and raised him, you see. 
she stopped recognizing him. It was tearing the family apart. So Bob made the difficult decision to place his wife in a home. Dorothy is 82. How are you, Dorothy? Well, I was picked up now, so I have to get... In the time we spent with her, Dorothy was confused, and she didn't make sense. And I don't have every friend. Then, in this room, something extraordinary happened. So <laughs> Are you just, just on your low? Oh, would you like this? I like the color. Would you like the diver? I saw something amazing today with Dorothy. When she was in the room with the children, she was lucid and forming completely perfect sentences. I know. I know, I know. Oh, wait a minute, let's go back to back to bed to mom and okay. It's amazing. <laughs> it is amazing. You're amazing. I'm amazing. You're amazing. You're amazing. 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 I should have had your hearing aids put in. <laughs> oh, what a sweet color. What a okay. Those moments that Dorothy has with the children. You're a doctor, how do you explain those? Well, you're playing into her suit. I mean, her whole life has been devoted to taking care of the children. Spending time with the babies just, you know, brings you back to, particularly for those who are mothers, to a time when they held a child. And how we explain that, I don't know. Is it magic? Is it a grace-filled moment because of that human connection and love that's present? Or a past experience that is triggered? But we know that our job is to help make that happen because for the experience of the resident and the child, and especially for the family member, that they can witness their loved one fully present again. What a gift. A gift we witnessed in every corridor every room. Good job. Oh, I see eyes and a mouth. And a nose. And a nose. Betty, when were you born? What's your birthday? Um... July 30th. July 30th, yeah. 1942. Right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen some of those photos, especially the ones from the 1960s. Betty, you're a good looking woman. <laughs> well, thank you. Yes, she was. <laughs> this is her daughter, Sarah. So the photos were from when you were in college, Finley College. Yes. You went for two years to Finley College, I think. Mm -hmm. And then I went back and got my degree. Yeah. Later, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad you're helping me do this. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, golly. So I, what, what was the degree that you got, Betty? I don't know. Not too long ago, Betty had the answers. At school, she was a straight A student. She went on to achieve a bachelor's degree in English. Later, she married and divorced, her husband leaving her with two small children. Do you like it here? Yeah, I do. It's uh, very good, you know. People like each other, and that's a big important thing, I think. There it is, there it is. Where'd you go? That's a big smile. Betty is a fighter, but Alzheimer's is in the family. Uh, how long have you been here? Um, been at a certain place? Or... Yeah, in this place. How long have you yeah. been here? Yeah, oh. Golly, I don't know. I don't 
don't know if you know where I am because I can't remember myself. Yeah, you're at the Mount, which is a, a lovely the mount. place, yeah, 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 which yeah. is taking care of you. Yeah. And yeah. have you got family that comes to visit you here? Yeah, I'm not. They well, they come a little bit. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I have two brothers that are out of. Can't remember where they live, and my. My daughter and a couple of, um, I, I hate, I hate having to struggle to okay. say. It's, it's okay, it's okay. You got a daughter and some grandchildren, I'm sure they come. And everybody here, yeah. everyone here loves They're you. Happy. Everyone's taking yeah. care of you. I know, I know. And we love I'm seeing you gonna... here too. Thank you, appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. We saw her in with the babies, and uh, <laughs> she, she didn't have a care in the world. Right. How? What a blessed moment. It's a time of remembering where we all came from, and Betty clearly is tapping into that. Okay, thank you for telling me that. I think if you work together, you can get it. Or more. Look how good you did. Yay! How is it that this connection works so well with one age group that's at the end of their lives and the other age group that's right at the beginning. It is interesting that we can take those two groups and put them together. They're very special times of life. Okay, um, Wally, can you do two? You do two, I do two, okay? One right here. And I think that both the children and the residents are highly, highly skilled at just being present in the given moment and when you when you think about it you know what what's more precious than that moment that we're interacting together mm. try to roll them what's your level try to roll them try to hold one try mm. yeah yeah like that push, and then we... push the side yeah yeah like that and then roll. yeah good job yeah. Wally. 